Martinson of Stanford. He did it as a member of the Stanford Medley Relay Unit. He's only a sophomore at that school, showing the Cardinals' depth indeed. He's surrounded by a couple of Ivy Leaguers. David Burkoff, a junior at Harvard, could become the first Crimson swimmer since 1960 to win an individual title at the NCAA Championships. And the other Ivy Leaguer you may notice in lane five as we check out the field is Richard Hughes, a senior at Princeton, who beat David Burkoff last month in the Eastern Swimming Championships. They remember, there will be no world record set in this or any of the events here because these events are measured in yards and not in meters. Also, some of the backstrokers will start standing and some will start in the water. Keep an eye if you can in lane three and lane five, Burkhoff and Hughes, they'll swim almost the entire length of the pool underwater, then suddenly pop up. There they are. Well, Burkhoff swimming in lane number three swam the whole way underwater. He's going to go into a little bit of oxygen deprivation coming into the last 20 yards. He had that problem in the prelims with that. But right now he's off to a win, at least at the 50-yard mark. Halfway home, slower than record time, just by a little bit. Right now, the lead being held in lane three by David Burkhoff of Harvard. When you swim the backstroke, even though your head is above water all the time, you still have to have some sort of a cadence to breathing. And most of these men breathe every other stroke. And Burkhoff now has built up a lead that I think is going to be very difficult for Mortensen to come back from Stanford. Harvard hasn't had a champion since 1960. Until now, David Burkhoff wins for Harvard. The junior winning in 48.20, not a record time, but the second fastest time in the 100-yard backstroke all time. Somewhere, David Burkhoff made up that second that Jay Mortensen held over him in qualifying. Remember at the start of the race, we told you about Burkhoff, Mortensen, and Hughes in the center of the pool in lanes three, four, and five. They all start very differently. Here's what we mean. Mark? Mortensen comes from in the water up into a starting position, unlike Burkhoff and Hughes, who actually started standing up. The interesting thing is, all the way on your left, you'll see Burkhoff. He kicks butterfly, the dolphin kick. You're allowed to kick any way you want underwater. He'll take one stroke right there to align himself with the turn. He swam the whole length of the pool underwater. So it took 26 years for Harvard tradition in the 100-yard backstroke to be renewed, but Bruce Hunter's tradition has been upheld by David Burkhoff. Stanford did pick up important second-place points that has increased their lead in this their quest for a third consecutive NCAA 